Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading for January 25th through to the 31st. So Gemini, this is a general reading. Be sure to check out your moon and rising sign readings as well as the messages here may not resonate. I'm going to be pulling in a card for your overall energy for the week, then looking into your love, romance, relationships, and then your money, career, finance. If you enjoy the reading, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Okay, so Gemini, your overall energy is the pen, Ten of Pentacles. Fantastic. Nice energy. And in your relationship, romance, and love, you have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Knight of Wands. Okay. And death. Okay. In your money, career, finance, you have the Hanged Man. And it is being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Okay, so Gemini... Wow, very interesting energy here for you this week. With the Ten of Pentacles, for some of you, you could actually be receiving inheritance money or even um, someone around you could be like a family member could be giving you um, money this week um, with this Ten of Pentacles here. So you could be receiving money. Um, but for others of you, this is really about you. You're really working towards building your long-term security um, and, and ensuring that when you get to the age where you, you want to retire or um, you, you have everything in place, you have the investments, you have your home, you have abundance in terms of your relationships, your family, your money um, as well, and, and having abundance in all areas of your life. So you're kind of like really focusing your, on the future and how it is that you're going to achieve that and the long-term gains of and the work that you have to put in in order to achieve those things, Gemini. In your relationships, you have the Wheel of Fortune and it's clarified by the Knight of Wands and Death. So I feel you are going through some kind of transition this week. Um, so for some of you, you could be where you're in a relationship and you're going to being you're going to be single um, because death can represent the ending and then a rebirth and new beginning. Um, for others of you too, this could simply be maybe you're single and now you're going to be in a relationship. This can also even represent if you are in a relationship, this can also represent this rebirth into the next stage of a relationship. So you might be dating someone or with someone, but now you could be getting married. So now you, you have an, a whole new identity in that relationship. This could even be you deciding, you and your partner deciding to have children as well. But it's that creation of a new identity. And I feel like it's very positive here with the Wheel of Fortune. So this is really the universe is shining down on you, blessing you, making sure those opportunities are there when they need to be there and the doors are open when they need to be open for you. And with this Knight of Wands energy, you are passionate and excited about it. And this is an offer of passion and excitement coming in, something that's very inspirational and that just really resonates with you and ignites those those fires of passion. So whatever this death is, I feel like this is a positive. It's either a positive ending and then a rebirth and a new beginning. And this is why I'm saying for some of you, this could be where you're single and now the new identity coming in is that you're partnered or that you are already in a relationship, but now you're getting married or you are in a, you're married or just in a relationship and now you're have, thinking about having children. So it's a blessing in your relationships that's coming in here with this wheel of fortune. In your money, career, finance, you have the hangman, nine of pentacles and the four of swords. So beautiful energy, but with this hangman and the four of swords, these are two cards about reflecting and inner reflection. The hangman, this is about you seeing things from a new perspective because you're taking time to go within and reflect on your money, career, finance. And so, and you're taking a step back from your money, career, finance to look at the situation more clearly so you can see things um, from a different perspective. And again, I feel like this is from a perspective of long-term security and abundance and creating that for yourself because you also have the Nine of Pentacles. And again, with the Four of Swords, there's a second meaning with this. And this is a card about make sure you take some time to rest and recharge your batteries when you need to. The Nine of Pentacles, this is someone who's very self-sufficient, self-supportive, um, achieves abundance and wealth through her hard work, through her attention to detail, 
through her perseverance, her patience, not afraid to get her hands dirty and, and just see something through to the end. So this is really about you creating that financial security and stability where you can enjoy your wealth and your abundance and everything you've achieved long term. So if you are finding, and that, that is really your new perspective here, but if you are finding that you're feeling a little overwhelmed, a little stressed, a little overburdened because you're doing so much, make sure, Gemini, that you are taking time to rest as well. Um, because this card does indicate that and it's good for your health to do so this week. So Gemini, this concludes your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, click on that notification bell. I will see you next time. Stay safe and take care.